Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day today. So we are back with another Baldur's Gate 3 video. In the previous video, we did tons of exploration. We discovered all of the Thorm family um, members and we got rid of all of them, which I think gave us achievements. Um, and we basically looked around and scoured every nook and cranny, which also gave us an achievement, which I'm really happy about. And today we're going to be doing some like extra little things um, and trying to lift the shadow curse if we can. Um, and also exploring the moonrise towers themselves and talking to Catherick and just things like that. So it's going to be a very, very exciting video. And without further ado, let's get into it. I'm so curious to see. Oh my god, I knew this was something. If you guys remember, while I was exploring this area, I said there would be something here for sure, because this place looks magical, this little circle. Let's see what happens. I'm very intrigued. You're here. Good. Now we can begin. I want to know what to expect. Thaniel is trapped in the shadow fell. But thanks to your efforts, I know where to look. Now I must go there. Alone. Alone? What am I to do? Shouldn't I come with you? No. This opportunity has been a hundred years in the making. Damn. It has to be me. And only me. Is this? But I didn't bring you here to witness an old druid's grandstanding. Like his fault and you stuff. You have a part to play in this, and I trust you will play it well. With the Oak Father's blessing, I can infiltrate the Shadowfell. But doing so will sap my strength. I'll need your help if I'm to return. Okay. I need you to stay here, keep the portal open until I return, and defend it at all costs. Hmm. Check out on me. Going in alone is suicide. I'll come with you. Defend it. What do you mean? The shadows won't be banished without a fight. Once I open the portal, they'll swarm like carrion birds and try to destroy it. You must not let that happen. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's begin. Whatever happens, do not attempt to enter the portal and do not let anything interfere with it. Okay, I, I trust him. Years of study. Of seeking the Oak Father's favor. To find a way to part the veil. Pray that this works. Oak Father, hear me. Aid me. Force open the jaws of darkness. Whoa. Make passage for your vessel of light. It's ready. I'll return with Thaniel as soon as possible. Stay close to the portal. Buy me what time you can. Oh god. I feel like there might be some screams coming out of the portal or something. Because he said not to enter it no matter what. Find the portal until the house in five turns remaining. Okay. Damn. So this is just all of them. Okay. Uh-oh. Damn, these lands are using like all of the powers that they have to prevent us from nice. To prevent us from, um, uh oh, no, 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 no. Uh oh, oh God. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these guys. It was a kid. I knew it. I feel like, is this Helson's child? That's kind of what I was getting at. Oh my god, he's so but small. Wrong. Dreadfully wrong. No. It can't be. Is he dead? We need to get Thaniel someplace safe. Yes, I'll bring him back to camp. 
He'll be safest with us. I need to examine him. I need to understand what's wrong. So he's not it's dead. It's almost like something's missing from him. Come see us when you can. Oh, we're gonna do this right now. Grove Keeper's Keeper. Oh my, this is... <laughs> Day, I think. Oh my god. This is actually insane. Thaniel is resting. But it's no easy slumber. I discovered what's wrong with him. The shadows rendered him in two when they bore him away to the Shadowfell. Half of his essence remained here, amidst the curse. What stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. But after all these years left in the darkness, corruption must have taken hold. Can we find it? Tell me how can I help? It's both simple and not. We need to find Thaniel's missing half yeah. and make him whole again. Only the missing half may not come willingly. The curse will have sunk its tendrils deep, twisting Thaniel's essence into something else. Any idea how to find his missing half? You're sending me to look for Neil in the high sack in the dark? Yeah. Hmm. I met a sort of shadow child before, a little boy named Oliver, around Thaniel's age. And you saw this boy yourself? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe they knew each other. But we need to be sure. Or maybe he and knows. I truly mean we, if you wish. Every moment counts. And I've asked much of you already without being at your side. Leave it to me. This doesn't have to be your burden alone. Every moment counts. And I've asked much of you already without being at your side. If you want me, I'm yours. Against the curse, against the absolute. Anything. Just say the word. Is he going to be a follower? Join me? Minnesota Search held before. Stay here for now. Are we ready? Wait, is he part of... No, he's not a follower. Hold on. Thaniel still suffers. There'll be no improvement until his essence is restored, I fear. Uh, once Thaniel's essence is found, what In then? In truth, I'm not sure. This is beyond all reckoning. It's still part of Thaniel deep down, but it may not recognize that. Or want to recognize that. Perhaps it can be reasoned with but i'm not hopeful reason is not something that thrives amidst the shadow curse true an unwieldy number you must cut someone loose before i can join you take mm. your time so you can just like instantly substitute them okay so we have to go and find the little kiddo then so I leveled him up and I gave him some gear now that he can join us. Um, I'm not really going to be using him that much. I just wanted to take him for this one specific little like quest. Oh, I forgot gloves for him. Oopsie. <laughs> uh, where we have to talk to this shadow like kiddo. So I thought I would take him with me if he would have extra bit of dialogue or something. So let's go now and talk to the kid. And then if nothing happens, um, I can... I'm, I'm just going to leave him and we will go to the, the Moonrise uh, Towers and stuff like that. And I will figure out how to find uh, Thaniel's, like, other half and stuff like that. I won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Though shrouded in shadows, the child's resemblance to Thaniel is unmistakable. This must be his dark half, warped by the curse. Go on, find someone else to play with. I know who you really are. We belong. You need to uh, reunite with Thaniel. Sport. I'm not going back. I like it here. I made a it family is... for myself. I get it to is him. All the time. Like it or not, uh, you don't belong here. I'll laugh at him. Oh, lounge at him. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. He can just disappear now. He's a shadow. Yes, I do. You can't make me do anything. I don't want to play with you anymore. He's fled. We need to track him down. 
Wherever the curse is the strongest, that's where he'll go. That's where he'll feel safe. Oh, is this like where he went or? Oh, the center. Okay. That damn, that's where he is. He has so many like shape shifting things. Okay, let's go with this one. I feel like the saber toothed tiger is probably extremely strong. Whoa. Look at him. Oh, that is so cool. I must okay. Without mercy. Get him. Still breathing, despite everything. Why couldn't you just leave me alone? <laughs> Why can't I just stay here, playing? I had everything I've ever wanted, right here! <laughs> and you've ruined it! I'm not uh. leaving. You can't make me. Be gentle. He's much more than a child. But he doesn't truly know that. <laughs> um... Uh, talk to him, Helsa, and you know what needs to be said better than anyone? Yeah, I think I will leave this to him. It shall be done. <laughs> Oliver, nobody is making you leave. This is your home. But it is dark, empty, <clears throat> lonely. I don't want you to be alone. I want you to be with Thaniel. Why should I go back to him? He abandoned me. No, you were stolen from each other. Neither of you are to blame. And I know your pain. I truly do. I don't know why this is Daniel funny. He was my friend also. I played with him, grew up while he stayed the same. Oh, okay. He made me who I am today. And then he was ripped away from me. Same as for you. But you need not be alone any longer. You need not invent friends. Daniel is back. He's waiting for you. Fine. I'll do it. Oh, God. It might be nice to be with him again. Bye. And thank you for playing with me. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry. It actually worked. Um. I was it's hoping done at last. To get a nice screenshot, but will be unshrouded. <laughs> we should return to Thaniel when we can. <laughs> so usually what I do is Another like when I am filming these videos, um, I take screenshots in the game and then make them into like thumbnails, like from bunch of options. <laughs> but uh yeah, this was um this was definitely not screenshotable, sadly. But it is what it is. Are you telling me that we can lift the entire curse by doing this? The druid Halsin spoke to me while I was sleeping. Small. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But there is one anchor still holding the shadows in place. The soul that brought it into being. For the land to heal. Hmm. Catherick Thorne must die. Oh, he will. For sure. So that is our, our like, final, final mission to free this Catherick's place. soul still nourishes the shadows. Destroy him. So the land may heal. So that I may heal. I wonder what his, what is his story, though? Oakfather preserve you. Ooh, I'm at a peer uh, of your druid, um, Jahira. Do you know her? Only by reputation. She was present when we marched against Ketherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but 
Never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. <laughs> Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. Mm, you're an asteroid. What could you possibly have learned, uh, le uh, have left to learn from anyone? No matter how long I live, I will always strive to remain a keen pupil. Oh, that's that's Only a nice a mindset. Think he could drink in all knowledge until none is left. True. There is always more. Nature's tapestry is infinitely complex. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the Grove? Controlled Korga? At least now we can benefit from her presence. And perhaps work to a common goal. Mm, you spent all these years fighting the Shadow Curse. What happens once it's all lifted? He can rest, Honestly, I guess. I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. Of course, I only wish you, uh, you'd join me earlier. Yeah, of course. So do I. But one duty at a time. Uh, how am I holding up to your estimations? I feel like I haven't gotten to know you properly yet. What happened before, when the Shadow Curse was um, unlearned? Druids and Harpers joined together to put a stop to Ketherick Thorm. We marched on Moonrise, and after much fighting, we prevailed. Even in defeat, though, Ketherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, mm. the Shadow Curse took hold. No one had seen the likes of it before. No one knew how to react. Then it started to claim all those within its reach. Those who had survived the battles now fell to the shadows, became part of the shadows. And worst of all, I lost contact with Thaniel. I guess they were both small. He grew up trying to fight this. I wanted to try and find him, but we couldn't stay. We would have all succumbed. When the Archdruid of the Grove, my predecessor, was seized by the curse, I had to lead the survivors to safety. Mm. That was my first day as Archdruid. An inauspicious beginning. Wait, was he the age of Thaniel when he became an Archdruid or something? Sounds like you did what you had to do to save lives. And every uh, day as a leader it can be glorious one. Yeah. That's in the past. You sound like you did what yeah, it's you I mean right, he did great. I must not lose focus until everything has been put right. I've wasted too much time already. Years in which nature has suffered. Why am I holding up to estimations? Um It's true, and I can't imagine I helped with that. Sometimes I let the task at hand consume me, and people think I'm obsessed. Trust me, the day I no longer have to talk about the Shadow Curse will be a happy one. True. What would you like to know? Uh, don't take this wrong way, but you're quite large of an elf. He's an elf? Wait, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I am? I didn't see his ears. <laughs> Trust <laughs> me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject until now. Yeah, he's freaking huge. Any idea how that uh, came about? Who's to say? Perhaps there's a half-orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. Or perhaps not. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is too narrow about what someone can or cannot be. Mm. Stranger things have most certainly happened. Uh, how did you come to be a druid? I had a friend when I was young, long ago. He played with me in the forests where I grew up. But eventually I realized no one else had heard of him. It was Daniel, of course. Nature was my very first friend. Oh. I get older, but he hasn't changed a day. I knew then that I had to be more than a companion to him. 
I had to be a protector. Oh, so he's not a person. I thought he was just the kid who got corrupted or something. Or maybe like, I thought Daniel was uh, like learning to be a druid. He was a little druid and they grew up together. But then he got corrupted and like he, the, the Helsin was trying to lift the curse. Apparently he was never a human. Do you have people out there somewhere? Family, friends, a lover, perhaps? <laughs> You're not a doppelganger, are you? Trying to study <laughs> me to learn all my secrets so you can take my place? Shit! <laughs> Save for me. My line perished a long time ago. They rest in High Forest now. Near the shade of the grandfather tree. The grove became my family. With Sylvanas as my teacher. And now I have you. Aww. I'm sorry for your loss. You're better off with me. Oh my god. Uh. Aww. It was a long time ago. The wounds don't heal, but they become more bearable. True. I'm not gonna press him on that. Um. Hmm. Um. I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um, I whittle in my spare time, and I've something of a sweet tooth. Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. It's raining outside. I don't know if you guys can hear but it's very like loud on the windows and stuff <laughs> um we're saying what what uh do you make so I turn into a bear and you like honey <laughs> a little on the nose <laughs> i like what i like once you get to my age you realize there's little point in denying yourself so long as others aren't affected Ornaments, utensils, and ducks. I like ducks. He does DIY. You've mentioned how old are you anyway? 350 years young. Damn. I've been privileged to watch saplings grow into mighty boughs. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you've something better than carving wooden ducks. I live a morsel fear of uh, Krakens. I've actually seen one. Wait, does this game know me? What? Well, they are fierce creatures from what I understand. But as long as you avoid the high seas, I think you can consider yourself safe. Anytime. I've been unfair to you. I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But honestly, oh, he was like pressuring even those. Seems my faith was more than well founded. Hmm. Oh, this was nice. Okay. Let me quickly grab Shadowheart and we can go to Moonrise Towers. Ah! I'm so excited. Bring us closer. Okay, real quick. Before we go to Catherick and do all of that stuff, I just want to talk to this guy to see if he has anything to say about, like, Thaniel or anything like that. Um, or if he even disappeared, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. It's, um, it's curious. Why does a Starion run like Naruto? What, <laughs> what is this? Any word on Thaniel? Is he alright? Is he safe? He's at uh, my camp right now. He's going to be fine. He is? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> I haven't been able to sleep knowing he was trapped in that wretched place. Thank you for saving him when I couldn't. <sighs> I can rest now. Finally. <sighs> oh, poor guy. I'm glad we came here. So, I think I will go this way, and I, I will just check what's in there. There was someone standing over here. I hope they will not think that we are sus, 
because like why else would we be taking a side entrance i'm, I'm just curious because um I want to see what happens. I would like to sneak in and just kind of assert the situation because I'm sure they are just defending the main gates or whatever. Zealot? Christ? Who is this? Hello? Okay, I'm going to do a big save. Can we talk to him through here? You! Halt! Her thoughts invade your own, hunting for recognition. Your parasite offers it readily. True soul, a pleasure. What news from the field? Until to report. Uh, what news inside? More importantly, why is no one in our ranks on guarding guard duty? Hmm. <laughs> Your imminent death. Let's not do this yet. We have to like see what's happening and save people if we can. General Ketherick's advisor went off on a field trip. Zarel's in charge till he gets back. Zarel's in the audience chamber, true soul. Go right ahead. Our path leads to Zarel. Let us not keep her waiting. In her name? Praise the Absolute. Oh. Okay, so it's just a little, like... <laughs> thing uh we're gaining intimacy with moonrise towers the guards believe us to be true souls hmm let's go oh my god ah okay so everything here is stealing so i guess this protects them from the shadow Acolyte, Marcus. This feels like it stretched Marls. all the way to the Sea of Swords in a clear day. If this, I'm afraid you missed the ship, through soon, but there'll be another along soon enough. We're already stacking the cargo. Do you wear wigs? Where are the ships landing? Baldur's Heading. Day. The army marches over land, but we sent some friends ahead to smooth the way. Hmm, why does the Absolute want to make war with the city? Locals need to see her truth. Take their place in her design. Or they don't, and we send them to meet the old gods they cling to. <laughs> so Doesn't weird. Not Hold way. on. Hmm, what cargo are they bringing? Nothing of note. Just supplies for the battle ahead. I've already checked it twice over. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Authority. Cargo is important. Another look can do any harm. Let's go with persuasion. I don't want to use the Lilith at powers. <gasps> oh my god, so lucky. Uh, right, you are, I suppose. Check away. <laughs> okay, where is the cargo? Because everything here is considered. Oh, is this the cargo? Weapons. What's this? A of sick familiarity radiates from one barrel amidst the cargo. Tadpoles, sleeping and scarcely aware, but echoing yours a hundredfold. Look at them all. Enough to infect an entire army. Oh my god. The winged serpent of the Zentarim. It seems their pursuit of profit extends even here. Reach out. Hmm. We don't want them getting this, do we? We have to figure something out. The cargo. Uh, respectfully, true soul. I'm not hearing much respect. What is so important about these boxes? They're not to be opened until they reach the city. The absolute smiles on them that follow orders. And I don't plan on being a guard for long, true soul. You definitely have the attitude for a true soul at least. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Time to skulk about. Why are you sneaking around? 
Shh, don't ask. Okay, where's the Starion, by the way? Did he... Was he unable to jump? Everyone else minds their business. I'll be fine. Can't slow down. Okay, I'm gonna send this to the camp. <laughs> They're definitely not getting this thing. Let me move Astarian really quickly. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with him. He just bugged out. Um, I can't bring him with me. I'm gonna have to look for the fast traveling point. Or something, because he's just... He cannot... He cannot jump, and it's... It's really messed up. I... It, <laughs> I get so annoyed when it happens. Who is this? Death Ward. Look busy or they'll set you lifting too. <laughs> Whatever's inside's heavy. Yeah, it is sitting in my camp. I could summon a familiar, right? Like a, an actual kitty cat? Can it go in? No. <laughs> no one back home will ever believe this. I guess you have to be an actual cat. To go in. You have to be a druid and stuff. Okay. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the absolute. Oh, Astarian is here. That's good. Should they accept the absolute? Ugh. All's well here. The cargo from below has already been taken to the docks. Don't get too close to the prisoners. They're desperate enough to try anything. <laughs> Oh, look at this blood trail. What are they doing? Like a good moment to talk. Be a dear and strike me deaf. Your guests are especially sobby today. Let's go this way. Because clearly this is the quest area, so... I don't want to go there yet. Oh, do you hear the little screams? It's so creepy. Oh my god, wait! These are the... These are the people from the Grove, right? Let me guess. Your conversation has been cut short. These prisoners are for Disciple Balthazar's attention only. What are the prison prisoners going to do? Talk me to death? <laughs> Imagine. This is something that I would like to re-roll, please. Whew. Your reasoning is hard to argue with. You're free to speak to the prisoners. <laughs> Roland better be all right. Okay. You want to help? The gnomes couple cells down are up to something, and we're in. Hmm. You're not getting any help from me? Let's fight our, on a, uh, our way out. I can't read bloody minds. Go on before someone sees. I wish you would say the the introduction line again. Get us out of here before the necromancer comes back. Please. Cell four. Personal journal. Oh. Mm. Oh, this is going to be a very interesting quest line. You ordered that guard about as if you were the Absolute herself. What do you want with us, exactly? I'm here to help you escape. Huh. And why would you be so inclined? Because these guys are psychos. I want to break you out. My mind is my own. I'm an undercover agent for a flaming fist. Let's just tell him the truth. Barkus is out here? Mm, didn't think he had the stones. Well, if he sent you, you're no slave to the Absolute. 
You're a damn wolf among sheep, aren't you? <laughs> I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilbrun. I'm um, uh, Andrel, pleased to meet you. We've got a plan for us and the tieflings both. But we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools. That head case of a warden robbed ours. But anything that breaks rock will do. Even if it's not iron hand quality. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdor, make sure a guard doesn't see you. Or we're both done for. Yeah, I mean, of course. Stone. Anything in here? Skeleton. Death ward? What is this death ward? Next uh, time damage was reduced to damage from hit points remain. Okay. It's kind of like the, the zombie reanimation thing, I guess. Maddy? Don't speak to the prisoners. The absolute forbids it. Hmm. Okay, let's not do anything rash. I'm gonna go through the store here. Let's see what happens. I don't think, I mean, it, it's not red, so it should be fine. The invisibility. The eye focuses on you, taking in every detail of your appearance. Examine the eye. A spark glows within the heart of the construct someone or something watches you from beyond Lizzie. the warden communal cell lever invasion plan oh my god there are so many things You spark of the familiar. Do I know you, Trousseau? Hmm. Perhaps not. Your face is rather bland. Regardless, hey. know this. I am the warden. The prisoners are my charges, and I answer to disciple Balthazar himself. Stay on my good side. Your face is pretty bland, too. Who is disciple Balthazar? Uh, are your own people? Are in the cell? Aren't you bothered? Hmm. My. They are letting all sorts become a true soul these days. He is chief advisor to General Ketherick, and one of the Absolutes favored. His necromancy is second only to the General's. It is an honor to serve him. My face might be bland, but yours? <laughs> it is now carved into my memory forever. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you must uh, confiscate lots of interesting things from prisoners. Indeed. But all are kept out of reach and under constant surveillance in the office above. Hmm. Prison security is my highest priority. Right, I'm looking for a particular prisoner, Duke Ravenguard. This sounds important, and I'm afraid the mere dregs are the only ones left in my care. Are the Tiflings are your people? Anyone who refutes the Absolute is an enemy of mine, true soul. You would do well to remember that. Uh. And we're going to do anything to impress her. Let's go up. Mm hmm. I can't wait to steal all of these things. Oh, there's a whole freaking path. Uh huh. 
Hello. I'm sure we can break this. Oh my god. We have to be where we where we careful, guys. Is that blood? No, never mind. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Because we can help them escape, but I'm kind of scared. What if they get seen? I saw a boat good here, I hope. on the other side. Let's see what this does. This goes even further down. Hmm. Where does this go? Delving into deep. Okay, hold on. Because the entire area was red, I don't want that to happen. Um, like, I don't want to fight anything. Enter the elevator for the better or worse. Or be let? Hell is Obilat? What in the alien? Okay, before we continue over there, let's just do some stuff over here first. I don't want to rush anything too much. Oh, we have to jump here, it seems. There's the boat. Oh, let's see where this leads. I can actually take the boat. Can be used. Rope tightly, uh... Find this boat. It's a friendly looking shadow. What do you mean? You just untie them. Oh, wait. I totally can. There we go. Let's see where this goes. The current is powerful, pulling at the boat. Should you leave, you will not be able to return to Moonrise Towers this way. Mm. Last light in! Oh my god, they can totally escape! Ah! Wait, we can do this before the necromancer comes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So I tried um, breaking both walls, but it seems that you kind of have to choose here who you want to break out. If I choose Tiflings, they will run to the boat and take the boat. And if I choose the, the dwarves, they will also take the boat and leave the tiflings. So no matter what you do, both of them will be like, f you know, any of them will be fighting the enemies. And I want to save them at the same time. Um, but I also don't want the necromancer to come in and take them. So I was thinking. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm, I kind of want to go back and kill the necromancer. Which will prevent both Tiflings and Dwarves from, like, being taken to him and being experimented on, I assume. Um, so I think that's the optimal choice in this situation. Civilian or guy. Can we talk to him? The corpse remains. Oh, my eye hurts. Oh. Ugh. My eye just started hurting really randomly. <laughs> that was weird. Elixir of bloodlust. Oh my god, what the fuck is this place? Ew. Is this where they just bring people to be eaten alive or something? 
What the hell is this place? What did you say again? On the other side, no way through from here, though. An illithid oubliette. Right beneath the towers. A colony must be close. That must be where the tadpoles are coming from. <gasps> Bellet, Chris. Wait, who is? Oh. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Oh, here. Oh, it's one of them. Ooh, so red and creepy. Um, ba -dum, ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, that this is what she was talking about, I think, that she can't reach. Can't fast travel from here. Ew. Okay, let's see what's through this door. Plant one foot in front of the other. Head forward. Back straight. Make them fear you. Speak with the dead. So this is not stealing? Hmm, apparently not. The gnomes are rebellious. Maybe I need more pockets. So the, the back side seems to be the prison area. What's in here? I itch to draw my weapon and gut every last one of these cultists. Oh, so now we are in just don't get carried away. Like in some the middle. Those guts might be of use to us unspilled. At least for a while. Yeah. You know best when to indulge every craving of your heart. But when the time is right, the absolutists will feel the sting of my blade. Same, Lazel. I can't wait to get rid of them as well. Let's look around first. Just gonna do a little, like, stroll. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a kitty! It's a kitty cat! These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw, Furless One. Tread lightly. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. Ranger, a fellow hunter. You say welcome sight. Any tips on hunting tadpoles? Focus. Dedication. Utmost vigilance. I braved yes, black waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many and will butcher many more. Good job, ma'am. This one, this one I toy with. I slice, I tear, and when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards. You know that Tetpool is dead, right? <laughs> You're a little bit intense. Luck is not needed. Merely patience and a thirst for blood. Hunt fast and hunt well. Mutual respect. Is this the Lysel version of the cat? Can I put the cat in my pocket? <laughs> Just kidnap it. Catnap it? Um, mutual respect. We take tadpole hunting cat. Cat hole. Oh, you come up here. Okay. Hello. These are like hyenas or something. Dominated will. This goes to the to the roof or Hmm. Oh, you can go here. Boom, boom, boom. Metal door. 
Oh my god, I feel like I'm playing Elden Ring or something. <laughs> okay, hold on. Before we do this... Cool. Hi. Seth. No. Oh, this was the main, um, like, bridge entrance, it seems. Okay. Let's go to the side before we walk in. And then this side is, like, corrupted. <clears throat> Just broken. If I get rid of the necromancer, will they know? <laughs> hmm. I wonder. Main floor of Moonrise. Zealot Brin. Another true soul. The disciple will want to see you through the main doors. Welcome, true soul. The disciple will have work for you, I expect. So much to be done. Hmm, I'm not going through the main door. Raj Oblodra, trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. I'd like to offer my services, if you're willing. What services? What does trade in blood do exactly? I trade in blood and the potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one, if you'd honor me with your blood. No, I'm good. With one drop. I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. We do with the bloody key. Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. Hmm. No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together, hmm? No, I'm good. I'm here. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your friend. He's a vampire, no? Or one of their spawn, at least. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the Absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. I assume he belongs to you? Uh he's a he's own person, yeah. I'm sure he really believes that. How utterly adorable. What a bitch. Do you have a name, Spawn? Hey! Uh, Astarian, but, but hold on! Good. Now, Astarian. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale. But it's yours, if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a <laughs> once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, Damn. and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Uh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? Why does she want it so bad? That's so weird. It's like, at first I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. But now that she's so, like, persistent... And... Astarian said no to getting a permanent power. That's just... What is happening? He, he said no. How very disappointing. Ew, I don't like her. <laughs> so weird. Oh, oh. 
Okay, we're not going through that door. Um, just want to make sure that I have every, every nook and cranny before we proceed. I want to talk to everyone, so on and so forth. Lan Tarv, Armorer of the Absolute. If you have coin, then show it. You never peddle your wares with that attitude? I mean, I'm not gonna, like, argue with him. It's whatever. <laughs> It's a whatever. He has giant cheese. Giant block of cheese. Hey, don't be stinky, Mr. Sir. We are each of us friends. And this was funny when it was just goblins branding asses, but you lot mean business, eh? Okay, who is who are these people? You'd find better lodgings out in the war camp, Trousseau. I know we're all one under the absolute, but you do not want to bunk with an ogre. <laughs> Is she stinky or mig? Hush. Meat sounds above. Here. Yeah. Oh, I failed. No. Mig only small. This maybe whole tower. Find meat. Oh, are there some like bugs up there or something? Don't mind Mig and her meat sounds. It's just her brain slopping around in her skull. Hmm. I want to know what's up there now. It will start cinematic, I assume. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Us? No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You Can failed I to resist? The artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Don't kill them. They are loyal followers of absolutes. I'm just going to watch them. Here. <laughs> Mercy, General. Please. General Thorne. Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. The faithful soldiers? I saw uh, the horrors they committed in the Absolute's name. Just kill them, they're worthless. <laughs> Absolute. I did everything I was told. And there you have it. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> Oh, damn. Whoa! What the... F uh oh. I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Uh. Try again. He is litter. What? How? No. No. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. 
Or better yet, put that true soul to use. <clears throat> you have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course uh, not, my lord. Thank uh, you. Uh, <laughs> uh. Oh, the fuck. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. What am I meant to do with them? They are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. I don't like anyone here. Please! So... You gotta help me! For old time's sake! Who is this guy? I don't even remember him. I'll give you a fair chance to fight me. No. No! B please! Oh. Ooh. oh, that's brutal. Yeah, I don't like goblins. Absolutely not. Let's go see Zarel. And mind you don't slip in the goblin guts. The seat of the Absolute's power. Occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn more about his power. Hmm. A quick little note. This lady in the... Like, in the artifact. This dream lady. Like, her tone of the voice is kind of suspicious to me. Because she sounds very excited. You know what I mean? It's like... The general himself. We have to learn about his powers. Wow, make sure to eat all the tadpoles to become stronger. <laughs> Ma'am? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, she is trapped in this artifact. Meaning that she was after this artifact. Like power or something. So... I don't know how I feel about that. I, I, again, I don't really trust her, so. The corpse regards. Oh, <laughs> that's a weird, uh, weird one. What were you doing in the village? Hostages. The absolute wants hostages. Hmm. Who killed you? Oh, is he gonna answer what we did? Coward attacked. Interrupted my work. Am I the coward? Are there others like you nearby? Many. So many. I don't know where I saw this guy. I have no idea who this guy is. If we like met him before, oops. From this seat, Ketherick defied gods and raised an army for the absolute. It is not particularly comfortable. <laughs> I wonder if I get rid of the Necromancer Balthazar if Catherick is gonna like feel it somehow. Moving like his ahead. senses are gonna be tingling <laughs> or something. Uh. And he's just gonna drop instantly. Is this where Catherick went? No feuding under this roof, true soul. We're all one under the absolute. More's the pity. You're not the first to brave the dark for the absolute. The war camps are full to bursting. Yeah, let me just see where this goes. I'm curious. Moonrise Tower's main floor.
in here? A little gift? No words from Balthazar? <gasps> Missive? Hold on. I'm gonna save. Might be useful. For her, Balthazar. Balthazar has sent uh, neither word or notice. Whatever he's gone is a uh, mystery. Needs someone to investigate his chambers, but doubt he is uh, rigs things. High health, perhaps. They don't know where he is! Which is great, because we can get rid of him! A lot of tyranny, but I do not answer to him to you. Well, any chosen artifact has gone astray. Acknowledge your planning mystery and brilliance uh, of mind, but you lack the depth of uh, experience and brings patience to you. Never mind. Okay. So here's the thing. I I'm assuming this is the, the Catholic Thorns, like, big chambers or something. Um, big, since Balthazar is a necromancer and he keeps everyone, nearly everyone alive here and, you know, does his thing, I am assuming we have to get rid of him first before we take Catherick, so I'm going to do that. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Oh, really? Even you, disciples, Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. A pool of warmth spreads through your mind as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. <laughs> oh, I like you. That was inventive and efficient. And enjoyable. <laughs> Get any Iranians to punish. Listen, we we like taking care of bad guys, but we are not psychos. But coming from these answers, um, Plenty. yeah, this is the best. But I hope someone of your talents would be more ambitious. You came here to answer the absolute's call. Let's see what you're made of. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate, but there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. The structure with your... <laughs> Astarian. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> oh hell yeah, let's go. My my. Oh. Your lust for the neck pricker is succulent. <laughs> I'd like to take a bite out of him myself. With the absolute, your fantasies can become more real than flesh. The pleasures of the mind can surpass those of the body. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Hmm. Show me the power she gave you. Good for you. Or do I get what I want? Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. The fuck? Oh my god. But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorm. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, 
the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. I live to serve. What do we need to do? Hmm. There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. Oh, so they know where he is. Hmm. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Understood, I'm re um, uh, What if Balthazar is dead? Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. Hmm. What exactly was this relic he sent to retrieve? It is something that General Thorm desires and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. She's suddenly nervous, on edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. Makes you anxious? Why is that? Let's see. I am in awe of the power the relic must hold to be of such importance. General Thorne will not leave Moonrise without it. Hmm. And you said we lost contact. What do you mean? And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Hardly a surprise. We're protected here, but outside the shadows are hungry. The Relic of Catholic plans you, uh, will be giving you more support. Fine. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. Tell him he's to share my secret stash with you. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Ooh. Balthazar's room. Open up. Personal reminder. It is not your time. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation. Save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. Hmm. And how is one chosen to ascend? I'm sure you have done a great many things to get this far, Trousseau. But above, you will stand in her very presence. Such an honor requires more. Disciples Rel has given you a chance to earn that honor. Which is to, uh, would you stop me? I mean, they will just attack me. Necromancy now? Her design now? does not end at the grave, blessed one. Oh, she's a necromancer. You will serve, whether you ascend or fall. I, I find use for even the fallen. I hope that is some comfort to you. Yeah, she's the necromancer. So Balthazar's room is, I'm assuming, by the library, because he is. He likes to read, <laughs> I guess. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, check out all of my socials in the description. And yeah, I will see you guys next time with some exciting, exciting things. Have a good day. Bye, everyone.